Hey, hi, oh, what's up? It's your girl Tangia, Tanny, Chief Tan, Tan Bands, Higgy up in this thing, and we have another video for you today. We are introducing ah, this 13 by 6 oh, full wig from Elva Hair. Like, give me the curls for the girls. So, I'm gonna show you. How we installed this. I tried to do a semi meltdown method. Y'all know I don't like putting no motherfucking adhesive on my head, but uh, we did it today. We swooped some little bangs and instead of bleaching knots, we did, you know, a little powder method. So let's get into this wig. And I'm going to tell you, let me just, yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you after we, we go through the whole little process. So uh, if you would like to see what we did to this wig, which is barely anything to get it popping like this, just keep on watching. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. All right, good people, let's get it started. So we have this beautiful wig from ElvaHairWigs.com and I just wanna show you what's inside the box real quick. Um, so they sent a little like wig weaving cap, some lashes that we never ever use, and a nail file which is actually very useful. But let's get into this wig. So it comes in this nice little durable plastic bag. It had that white paper inside of it and netting around it, but of course as soon as I get things I have to open it and play with it. So here I'm just showing you what the lace looks like and how it's pre-plugged. We love pre-plugged. So this is a pre-plugged 360 lace frontal Brazilian Remy Curly Bob wig. Oh my God, so many descriptive words. It's 250 density. It came in a natural black color with a medium size wig cap and a medium brown color. I did not take the liberty of bleaching the, the lace around it. We just decided to use a powder method, which I will show you later on in the video. This wig does have four um, combs in it and an adjustable strap in the back, which was very useful for me because I'll be thinking my head is big, but it's actually kind of small. So this wig I felt would stay secure without doing any like meltdown method. But for today's video, I went ahead and attempted a meltdown method. We did all right or whatever. But before we get into all that, I did go ahead and wash the wig. Um, because it is so thick, it took a little bit for the hair to get completely saturated. But this, washing the wig, just made the curls come back to life because I wish you could have seen exactly, well I put it on, some, on Instagram, what the hair, what the wig looked like as soon as I took it out the bag. But I had to play with it and got my fingers in it, so. Yeah, but the great thing about this wig is though, even if I play with it, it doesn't matte. It just like frizzes out the curls, but it doesn't mat up. So I'm in love with this hair. And I just use my Suave shampoo and conditioner to wash it. Nothing too special. It was, you know, nothing fancy. It definitely did not have like any annoying smell to it. But of course, putting your favorite conditioner and shampoo on it is going to give it a bomb smell. So the curls instantly popped back after I washed and conditioned it. It didn't necessarily need a condition, but I'm like, shoot, if I'm going to wash it, I might as well just condition it. So. We went ahead and did that and then I just let it air dry while I prepped my head for this attempt at a meltdown. And because it's curly hair, having it wet is actually, you know, the best way to go. That's how I rejuvenate the curls. I just use my little spray bottle and dampen the hair and the curls just pop right back. These are our curls. Didn't even need a dimming brush to define them. Like I said, they just really pop back and make you do what you do. Just really loving how easy this hair is. So I haven't used this got to be glue stuff in so long. So here I'm just, you know, putting, pushing the edges back, a little frizz, fuzz, any of that. I have a full video on how I do secure wigs when I choose to use adhesive, which is never at this point. I just feel like it's, I feel like my skin's allergic to it. Um, it messes up the lace on your wigs, frontals, whatever you're wearing. And it's just really unnecessary. I just feel like elastic band is easier and I can take that mug off every night, okay? Every night. So I'm using the Got To Be Glue Gel and spray to get this wig cap melted down. And a blow dryer, you can see my face, I'm just like, do I really have to? I just, you know, we do it for the video, 10. Do it for the video. 
So there's plenty of videos on this meltdown method. I'm not a pro at it because I don't do it, but I will definitely link one that I feel like is bombed down in the description box. So after we get the wig secured to the head, we're gonna go ahead and cut off the excess around it. And then we'll use the bold hold adhesive to you know, keep our wig in place. And when I started cutting this, I was going to secure the whole thing like around my ears and around the nape of the neck because it is a 360. So you can um, adhere the back down as well. So that is completely secure. So you can put it up in a bun and all that. But using the adjustable straps, I feel like it got pretty snug to my head. I wouldn't say it was snug enough to do any like tight type of updo, but it was snug enough to keep it in place. And of course it has a comb back there as well. So I felt pretty secure. So I did about three layers of the bold hold adhesive before I secured and pressed the wig down. And I decided to not do the back just because I'm like, I already don't want to do this. <laughs> so we're just going to keep it cute. So this is the wig after it air dried a little bit. I just left it in my shower while I did all of that. So that was about maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes of letting it air dry. But I do go ahead and use my blow dryer on the cool setting to finish drying and styling the wig. So you can see how it's free plug. You can see it looks nice now. I felt like it looked pretty good, but I did go ahead and it already has like pre-cut baby hairs as well. So this wig is just ready for you to wear, honestly. Like you really don't have to do much to it to get it popping, okay? So now I'm just cutting off the lace from the entire perimeter of the wig. And I think it goes like six inches back. That's how far the lace went. So you have a really nice parting space for this wig all the way around. And look at the hairline. Like we wigs don't be coming like this. Frontals don't be coming like this. Elva hair is it, okay? Do you see the hairline? And that's before it doing anything to it, honey. She's not straight across. They know ain't nobody hairline straight across like that. Help us create the finesse. Thank you. So I'm just gonna cut all the lace off and then I'm going to go ahead and dry the hair a little bit or help it dry should i say and this is the hair still kind of damp but you can see the curls coming back to life yes so now i'm just gonna use my blow dryer on the cool setting only and scrunch the hair up and just dry it I do have the diffuser. I was just being lazy and didn't go get it, but that's basically what this is doing. Keeping the curls nice and fluffy without over drying the hair, which would happen if you use heat. So that's why I just left it on cool. The hair dries really quickly. So I know what to do now, quick style. So this is the hair pretty much completely dry. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out these baby hairs and create some, you know, a little customized front situation. Like, look at those curls, honey. Look at them. They're so fluffy and bouncy. And this is me deciding what I really wanted to do with this hair. Like, you could do so much with this wig. You could have cut a bang here. That would have been cute. But we decided to leave it alone and just do like a side part situation and create the baby hairs like I said the baby hairs were pretty much already cut I just had to pull them out and lay them down and they were really easy to find because they were not curly like the rest of the hair and I just used my mousse and the got to be glue the black bottle um, I really mainly use the mousse to lay the hair down and then just to keep it in place because it just will not stay for me with just mousse. I use just the tiniest bit of the got to be to secure all the baby hairs in place. And we use a comb to get it popping. We used to use a toothbrush, but I've been finding a comb works better for me for whatever reason. And when I laid this the second time, I, I've been trying to practice my baby hairs because I don't want them as close together. We've been trying to, you know, figure that out so we're still on a trial basis with baby hairs but I still like how I did these for this video 
So after I laid the hairs, I just went back in where I saw any lace poking out and cut that off. Wrapped it down while we did the beat and boom, we came back snatched. So to finish customizing this front little area, I just used my Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder. I think it's just milk chocolate or something like that. I forget the color. Um, any powder that like matches your skin complexion to go ahead and define where your scalp would you know, normally be. And instead of plucking any more hair out, I just used the powder to define that part. or at all like this length these curls they just are so fluffy this wig is really full i think it said it's 150 density and i definitely believe that i've gotten a wig before and they said it was like 150 or 130 work bro that was like 100 and nothing don't you ever lie to me how thin that wig was this mug feels full it feels good these curls are like just so like a naturally just so easy like just slap it on and go type thing i love wigs that i can just slap on and go um, I did take the time to try and do like this whole little cap, melt it down with the adhesive, all that. Please know that I, it will never happen again. I don't, I don't have to do, I, I don't like doing all that. And I don't feel like you have to do all that. Like it has the adjustable straps in the back. So I feel like it's pretty secure without having to adhere it down. So I'll maybe make another video or I'll go on Instagram or something and show you how I just, you know, put it on, do the edges and go. Cause that's really the only thing that usually holds my wigs on is the little bit of gel that I put up to do the little baby hairs and whatnot. Um, but I'm really loving this wig. It's so soft. The hair is so soft, so fluffy, feels so good. Came back immediately after I washed it because like I took it out before I filmed the video, like when I first got it, cause I was just so excited to see it. Play with it, put it on and you can see like it gets a little bit frizzy, but you still have a really nice natural looking curl pattern. But as soon as I washed it, it came back to life. And like, this is the hair back here that I haven't really been playing with too much. So you can see the full, defined curl pattern and you don't even have to use a dimming brush i just let it air dry for a little minute Use this thing. um but yes i'm living for it i love this freaking hair Ugh. live for it so we're gonna see how it holds up um because it's you know it, it gotta be it's gotta be something if it's just this affordable but you know what? i'm not gonna doubt them Definitely need to go check out Elva Hair. All the links in description are all the links and coupon codes and everything is down in the description box. Definitely go check it out. Check they have so 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 many different wigs and if they, they and pre plucked honey because I hate plucking. Pre plucked is the sign me up, bro. Just sign just sign me up. So yes, please go check out Elva Hair. Um, if they have a coupon going on right now, it's gonna be in the description box below. Check it out. If you have not already, you need to join the Tan Band fam because if you haven't, I don't like what you do. Hit the subscribe, slide, bell, all videos. You notified every time, dog. You know what's coming. So thank you so much for coming back to my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in the next one. Stay true.